happy Tuesday. Or, I keep saying Tuesday. I've changed it to Mondays. Mondays is training day. Let me revise. Welcome to Monday. It is a fresh new week and a fresh new topic to train on. And it is the 1st of April. So this is the perfect time to introduce how you need to plan for the month. All right. So if you know me, you know I am a planner. I like to plan ahead of time. I usually start the week before the end of the month. And so that way I've got a really good plan going into the month because I like to have a plan. Having a plan helps me to organize my thoughts, helps me to organize my customers, really know what's really like testing the temperature in my business. And that's a huge thing, right? We need to be always knowing what the temperature is in our business. Are we hot? Are we cold? What is happening in our business? And let me tell you guys, one of the ways that I truly feel is the best way to get prepared for what is coming that month is to catch the end of month live with Dan Orchard. Soon enough, I think in July, maybe August, it will go back to Heidi and Orville. But let me just clarify, the end of the month live is truly where you're going to get the perfect temperature of your business. What is coming? What are the steep peaks? Like all of those things. I shared the end of the month live. Um, it actually happened on the 30th this year, because, or this month rather, because it was Easter on Sunday. So they wanted to get ahead of the game. Um, if you're not able to watch those lives, then I highly suggest that you go back and rewatch the replay. That's what I did. I wasn't able to join live either, but I went back and I watched the replay. It really gave me a good temperature as to where I needed to put my focus on my business and what I needed to really drill into. So if you're not doing that, that is what I suggest. If you don't watch it live, that's fine. Like I said, I didn't either. It's okay, right? We've got other things going on. We've got life happening all around us. So it's okay. These are the reasons that we have replays that we're able to go back and we're able to watch things. These are just the meat and potatoes of my business. The meat and potatoes of my business are to watch the end of my life. Even if it's an hour later, even if it's a day later, I didn't watch mine until Sunday. That's okay. It doesn't matter when you're doing it. You just need to be doing it. Okay. The same thing when it comes to follow-ups, it doesn't matter when you're doing it, just do it. Okay. There's no expiration date on the end of end of month live. And that is a perfect way to be able to catch yourself up in your business. So what did I learn from end of month live? Well, let me just share with y'all. Look, I got a whole page. Well, maybe one whole page, I guess the red is what I, I wrote down. Okay. So maybe one whole page. There's a lot going on in April that I wasn't quite ready for. I wasn't quite ready for, but this is what going back and watching the live of the end of month, right? It allows me to really set my schedule for the upcoming month. So for April, I know I'm locked in. I'm secure. I've got it back here on my board. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess you can kind of see it back there. Um, but it's written back there on my oh, on my board. And so I am ready for it. I am ready to go when it comes to April, right? Like I am prepared. Oh my gosh. My phone holder is just not holding. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, I need to, I need to upgrade my phone holder. Okay. All right. So there's that. All right. Now what I've done for the month is I've written down the things that are going to be happening. So that way myself as a business owner, I know how to plan, right? Like I know what's going to be happening when it's going to be happening. Now, when surprises come and in all honesty, they usually do when it comes to Sensi, right? Everything that they discuss in end of month live is not necessarily everything that's coming out in the upcoming month, right? We usually will have a surprise here or there. So I want to plan for the things that I know are going to happen and then be spontaneous with the things that I don't know are happening, right? 
If you have been with Scentsy long enough, then you know, or if you're new, let me give you this little quip. Every single Thursday, you want to be checking that news section of your workstation, okay? Because on Thursdays is when the news comes out for the things that are going to be coming out on Monday or the upcoming week. So you need to be, Thursdays needs to be your day. I don't know. If you're like me, I personally, I check my, my workstation every single day. It's just where I am in my business. But if you don't, if you're somebody who doesn't do that, that's okay. But I want you to put yourself in the habit of every single baby Thursday afternoon, evening, night, whatever, even if it's Friday. I don't, I don't know what your schedule looks like, but I want you to fit that in because what is being posted for what is coming on Monday, the upcoming week to come, right, is usually given to us on Thursdays. So if you're not doing it any other day of the week, I want you to start doing it on Thursdays, okay? Check your workstation, read the news tab, see what's happening, see what's coming. You will know that's going to help you to reach out to your customers to know who you need to be contacting and why. All right. All right. All right. So for the upcoming month, so this is kind of how I've planned and I know I, I apologize. You can't really see my board too well. Um, every single month. So I've got my dry erase board back there every single month. I am notorious for writing everything down. So the things that are going to be released, the things that I want to focus on when it comes to training, the things that I want to focus on when it comes to my overall growth. So I've got my personal PRV goals, my group wholesale volume goals, my team wholesale volume gro growth back there. Um, I've got, uh, what else is back there? The LTOs that are releasing. I also have, because in my business, I like to do spring cleaning and this is a month. If you guys know me from following me on TikTok or, uh, did I sh no, I don't even think I shared it on Instagram. I think I just shared it. I think I just shared it on TikTok, but I completely re and deep clean my office, right? So like I got rid of all of the things that were fall and winter. I made sure that I only have the current things happening here in spring and summer. So my office has been completely renewed. I am so happy about it. I love it. And it really just helps me to have a clean place to work. So if you are somebody who is like me, who you, maybe you feel scatterbrained, maybe you feel like everything is all over the place, whatever workspace that you have. And remember, I came originally, right? When I joined Sensi, I didn't intend on this being a business, being a side hustle, being anything like that, right? So for me, it ended up looking like I would sit on, and I still do to this day, I've got like a couch spot, right, in our living room. And so like I would have this little rolly drawer thing of three drawers, and that's what my business lived in. And I just literally moved it from room to room, depending on where I was kind of working that day. So if that's where you're at, that's where you're at, but organize the things that you have. Because you guys, we are into the second month of spring and summer, right? So anything that you have that has fallen winter, you need to be getting rid of it. Now, that means when it comes to catalogs, when it comes to product lists, when it comes to showcase brochures, if you've got a shredder, this is the perfect time for you, right? Throw it through the shredder, let it shred. And then when you're doing packages or doing orders for customers, you can use that shredded paper, right? To fill your boxes, to fill those things. Recycle and reuse as you can, okay? That's my my overall tip for all of you when it comes to business supplies. We paid for those things, so let's use those things, okay? All right, so I have gone through my entire office. I've gotten rid of all of that stuff. I've shredded what I needed to shred. I've thrown away what I needed to throw away. Everything is fresh and reset and renew, and I only have the things out that I need. Same thing with your workspace, okay? So you need to be planning for your month. What does your month look like? What are the things you're gonna be working on? Do you do pouch parties or bag parties? I personally do at least one or two, two is my goal, every single month, right? So I wanna make sure that I've got testers already set up that are current scents, 
that are in a bag or in an envelope, whatever it is. And I, I do mine in envelopes that I get off of Amazon, but it doesn't matter what it looks like, right? You just need to make sure that they're ready to go along with my business cards, product lists, catalogs, those things, right? They're already ready to go. Any samples that I've made for the month, they're already in those bags. So all I have to do when somebody says, hey, Jackie, I would really love to have a party on the go, no problem. All I have to do is grab that bag. So I've got my bags over here. I just have to grab that bag, throw in any other last minute mailings or things that I've created on Canva, throw it in there, and it is literally ready to go, okay? So planning your month ahead can make things much easier easier for you. I am very busy. All right. I work 40 plus hours a week. I have nursing school that I'm in. I've got the house that I need to run. All of the things are happening all week long. So I need these things to work like clockwork for me. I need things that I can grab and go. Same thing like when I prep my lunches for the week, right? Grab and go. This is going to make things easier for you, simpler all the way around. So up here on my board, what I've got, and if you don't have a dry erase board, that's okay. Make it a, um, make it a, a, put it in your notebook, put it in your planner, write it down and put it in a post-it note on top of the fridge or on the makeup mirror, whatever, some place that you can see these things. So what I have back here on my board is everything that I know of, rather, right? Everything I know of that's going to be releasing in the month of April and the dates that I really want to focus on. So that's what's back there. So that's what I want to encourage you guys to do. Again, it can look like a planner. It can look like um, your notebook. It can look like the post-it notes on the fridge. Whatever it is, wherever it is that you're going to look at it the most, that's where you want it. So you want to have those things. Um, a couple words of note. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull these things out. So um, as of today, it is April 1st, okay? It is April 1st. Not only do we have the with box, okay? We have the with box, which we all know by now, right? We all know that the with box is a new um, concoction every single month, right? It has a new theme. It has a new whole new thing, a whole new contents. We actually have two this month, and this is an extra special thing. We have two. I, I have balloons going, and I don't know why. I guess because I did the peace sign. I don't know. That was funny. Okay, um, we have two. So the with box, we have our with box, which is our original with box, and the surprise item in our with box this month in April is we actually have this pink sunshine dish soap in there. This is something you cannot get out of the catalog. Okay. You can't order it through the catalog. There's no other way, but to get it through the whiff box. So this is just another example of why we need to be informing our customers about the whiff box. The other example is not only do we just have the whiff box, we have an optional woof box, W O O F. We have a woof box. Okay. And that is dedicated towards our dog and, and or cat lovers. Okay. So in there we have the dog shampoo, we've got the dog detangler and we've got the dog or the pet freshen up and freshen, freshen up spray. Okay. It's been a minute since we've had the, the animal collection. So we've got those three products. Plus it comes with a little alien, like alien, saucer squeaker ball. If you have a dog that's like mine, he loves the squeakers. I'm not going to lie. Okay. He loves the squeakers. We get a bark box every single month. He looks forward to it. He has no idea that it's coming, but he knows, right? Like he knows the, the wolf box rather has all of those things that are related to dogs. Now, maybe your cat is a cat that loves to be pampered and all the things and by all means, this box is for you too. But for probably most of us, it's more of a dog box, okay? So our customers can have the choice to have the woof box or the regular with box, which is more of a spring cleaning feel or a theme. And it has the, like I said, the pink sunshine, right? Pink sunshine, 
Let me make sure that I'm reading this right because I wrote all of my notes down with box. Yes, pink sunshine dish soap. That is the exclusive item that is in the whiff box. So people can choose or they can buy both. It doesn't matter, right? They can get both. But those are the options they have this month. Another really great thing to look forward to this month is obviously we have the warmer and the scent of the month, which is always a huge thing. Um, we also have our alien that went live today, Alizar the alien. We have our mental health awareness collection. Um, early access went on sale today for those. Um, let's see here. Um, our Mother's Day collection officially launched today. So we have our full Mother's Day collection happening. Um, Alizar Whiff Box, Woof Box. Okay, got those. All right, on 4-8 is our Father's Day collection early access. Early access for those of us who are consultants, that means the wax bars only. So we can order the wax bars early. And I'm not going to lie, just from watching the end of month live, I already know that these scents are ones that I'm going to be adding to my club, okay? And that's just another like cherry on top, okay? The, the collections that we're launching, this is the opportunity for you to be reaching out to your customers about adding these things to a Scentsy club. Hi, I am a fragrance obsessed person person. Okay. I just am. You give me fragrance. I will buy it if I love it. And when it comes to Scentsy, of course I have my favorites. Okay. So the same thing with our customers. If they are fragrance obsessed, if they love certain scents, this is how you want to be directing them to make their orders, creating a Scentsy club. They're going to earn Right off the bat, if they have $30 or more, they're gonna instantly save 10%. They're gonna get a flat shipping fee. If they spend $60 or more when their, process, when their order processes, they're also going to get a half price item. Like all of these things, plus they get rewards, points that they can use towards future purchases or future Sensi Clubs. They can get an affiliate link, which also helps them to save money. There's just rewards all the way around. So when it comes to the Father's Day collection, the Mother's Day collection. If they're falling in love with those scents, you need to be having conversations about Scentsy Club. Plain and simple. I'm not gonna beat that horse to death, but you guys know what I mean. Now on 415, we also have the Scentspirations. I love this collection, by the way. This month we're featuring Bring Back, or I'm sorry, not Bring Back, Black Raspberry Vanilla. Sorry, there's too many like mnemonics involved in this. So Black Raspberry Vanilla, we're getting it in Black Raspberry Frosting, Black Raspberry raspberry Linen, Black Raspberry Sangria, <gasps> Black Raspberry Woods, and regular old Black Raspberry Vanilla. On 415, we are also getting the Llama Pinata Buddy Clip in Berry Bright. I'm so excited for this. Cinco de Mayo is one of my holidays, okay? We also have the Light From Within bundle, with, which includes the Pineapple Mango and Cocoa Lime Bars. And you can choose, or, or our customers can choose between different colored bulbs. That's very exciting. On 422, we have classic laundry bundles that will be launching. One in Coconut Lemongrass and one in Starburst Sky. And Starburst Sky is the new one, okay? It comes in laundry liquid and you get two of the little washer whiffs with that bundle. On 422 as well, we have the Classic Clean Bundle. We're bringing back white tea and cactus. And if you know, you know, I have customers who love this scent. They're gonna be so excited. I cannot wait to talk about this one. Um, and also Pink Sunshine coming in that. On 429, it's a, it's a long month, y'all. We have early access to the Noche de San Juan collection. Hello, this is our Puerto Rican collection. So we have a bar there that we have early access to. And then we also on 429 have the Scooby-Doo collection. We're gonna be reintroducing our Zoinks scent bar, which is fantastic. We're gonna have our Scooby Buddy, and then we're gonna have a brand new element warmer and Scooby Snacks, and it's Scooby coming out of like the box of Scooby Snacks. I mean, come on. We have a lot going on in April, not, along, not alone with just all of that, everything that's releasing, but we also have our join promo. 
if people are joining in April, then they have up to 70 days to not only earn Shooting Star, but earn Sensational Start Level 2 or 3, and they get that whole kit for free. I would have killed to have been able to have done that when I started. I didn't. I was not a fast starter. I was a turtle coming out of the gate. I didn't. This was not a business for me, but looking back, would I have done that? Heck yes, I would have done that. I would have pushed myself to my limit to be able to earn those products for free. So that's fantastic that we're doing that. Um, it's also, it's April, so it's spring cleaning. I have done all of the spring cleaning in my personal house, so all of that is done. But let me tell you right here and now, this is when you need to be talking to your customers about our clean line, the laundry line our brand new scents. If you missed last month, maybe you've been sitting out on the bleachers on your business, so to speak. Okay, you guys, I have, okay, I keep all of the current testers here on my desk. Look at all these current testers. These are just the spring and summer collection testers, okay? Everything that is spring and summer is here. And let me just tell you, I am a fresh girl. I love my scents. Spring and summer is my season, okay? The scents that we currently have available, everything that's in your catalog, this is when you want to be talking to your customers. When you have cleaned your entire house, this is when you want to be talking to your customers. They want a clean house, they want a fresh house, they want it to smell nice, they want the whole nine yards. These are the conversations we need to be having, so. Here you go. This is how I'm planning my month. This is how I'm looking ahead. I keep my board back here on track, but like I said, it doesn't have to be a board. Maybe it's your planner. Maybe it's a post-it note. It just depends on how you work your business, but either way, write the things down that are going to be happening in the month. And then, you know, from a business perspective, where you need to put your focus. Because that, my friends, is where you're going to win when it comes to working your business efficiently, effectively, and being just on top of the business, okay? You're going to be looking ahead. Here's what's coming at the end of April, right? If you have Scooby-Doo fans, you already want to be dropping hints about the Scooby-Doo collection, okay? Okay, if you have people who love the more masculine sense, like me, I am one of those people, right? I would want my consultants, if I was not a consultant, I would want them to be telling me about the Father's Day collection, right? The wax bars that are going to be coming. Why? Because it's something that I'm going to love and I'm going to want to buy that collection the day that it drops. So being able to have this forward thinking, this forward look on your business is going to save you time. It's going to help you with your marketing. It's going to help you when you come to talking to customers, setting up whether it is pouch parties, affiliate links, shopping links, all of those things, right? You're going to want to be setting it up. So this is how we're going to work our April. It is the first of the month. I am so excited for those of you who already have 200 and above in PRV. I salute you. I salute you. Way to go. Way to kick off your month. I cannot wait to see where this one takes us. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye.